My name is Jael Ronga. Uh, I do fresh juices. We make as we supply, and our main clientele is hotels. We have uh, pl different places in Kenya where we get our fruits, and mostly uh, Ukambani region for the mangoes, coastal region also for the mangoes, and in Nairobi. So mostly we prefer to get it from Nairobi because Nairobi is the central place. So if it comes from Ukambani, it comes from uh, Mombasa, mostly it's taken to Nairobi. So that's where it is in surplus when it's in season. I dwell so much on quality. So where the quality is better is where I get my fruits from. Passion fruits, a, uh, mostly it's in Kisi, the Kisi region, Eldoret region, or uh, Uganda. So it depends with where it's on season. Sometimes the Uganda one goes out of season and I have to come to Kisi, but uh, it's one fruit that never goes totally out of season like mangoes. Because sometimes mangoes goes out of season and I have to use the imported mangoes. Passion juice is the most popular and the most consumed uh, when I look at uh, how we do it and our orders and supplies and the sales here. So passion juice mostly the most consumed. We've captured better part of Kisumu and most of the high-end hotels in Kisumu I'm the one who supplies with fresh juices. The mango juice uh, first, we pick our selected mangoes. We don't just buy mangoes. It's selected. Ones that are nice, juicy, and mostly the ones that have sugar. Because uh, during our uh, processing, we do sugar, but not a lot. Just a little to sweeten it. And when the mango is too sweet, sometimes we even never use the sugar for doing the mango juices. So we, sell, uh, we take our selected uh, mango fruit, then the first process is washing. And the second step uh, is whereby we use sanitizer to sanitize it from germs. So here it takes 10 minutes before it's removed from this step to the peeling process that is just going on right now. After peeling, we would blend. Then we put it in five liter jerry cans. We have five liter jerry cans that we we, we mostly in hotels we supply in five liter jerry cans. So once we do that, we put the expiry date immediately. Fresh mango juice, well stored, would take up to four days in the fridge. Usually for a month, if frozen. So with hotels, we don't really uh, advise them to freeze the juices because we want them consumed fresh and we do daily supply. We don't do preservatives at all. Our juices are fresh. The only uh, thing additive we do in our juices is sugar. The content of sugar inside. I used to live in Nairobi. Then I relocated to Kisumu during uh, devolution, uh, shortly after devolution. So um, when I started, it was definitely a challenge because uh, this is a region where it's never known for fruits and all that. We can't get them locally. But then I was so determined. I said this is what I want to settle for and this is what I'm doing in this region. But I used to love doing juices in my house. 
we could not buy soda or anything else. I would just go buy uh, Kidogo fruits, bring in the house, and then I make, I blend juices. So when I came and then I saw there was opportunity in that, this specific uh, field. So I said, why not? Right now, I have a group of five. Uh, so majorly, these are the ones that uh, deal with the processing. And then I have a driver who does my deliveries. Like right now, he's on deliveries. Yeah, so plus me is six because I'm hands-on. I never sit in the office and just know. I did business management to degree level and I was once employed in Nairobi but then when I relocated to Kisumu I just didn't like employment no I wanted to uh, my background my family background my mother was a business lady and I could see her do business and she started training me way when I was young she could let me help her in her business so I just generally admired business Kisumu is a beautiful place. I would not choose anywhere else. I would again and again want to be in Kisumu. And uh, from the devolution era, honestly, Kisumu has improved. And it has had too much over opportunities. When I came into this market, unfortunately, there was no no one doing this. Once in a while, I hear of someone doing fresh juices and uh, probably they're attempting to go to the hotels to look for orders and all that. But I've been the main supplier for like over two or three years without any competitors and all that. So I found it so easy in the market. I just maneuvered my way through. Uh, it reached a point I didn't even have to go and do marketing and all that. You know, they used to call me right from my office chair and tell me, uh, we are told you do good juices. Mm -hmm. So can you supply us? Can we have a deal? And I say yes. Mm -hmm.